Quick question for you. How many times have your automated tests completely broken the moment real data didn't behave the way you expected? What if your test could think like a user, like, for example, find an ATM on a map, handle errors when something's down, switch direction, and run across multiple browsers and devices, all without writing a single script? Here's the truth. Traditional test automation, like back in my day, wasn't designed for dynamic, real-world scenarios. Think about it. It relies on static data, struggles with interactive maps and controls, and if your flow changes, forget about it. Boom, your test suite crumbles. And the maintenance overhead, off the charts. Hey, let's admit it. Raise your hand if you ever had to babysit brittle test scripts. You know the pain. Now watch what happens when I actually run this type of scenario using Perfecto AI in assistant mode. All right, so what you see here in this video today is the Perfecto Agentic AI test automation solution. So what's really cool is your tests are written in your plain language of choice. In this case, we're writing them in English. And the steps are just in plain language and are executed at runtime with these plain language test steps. So as you can see, this step here is opening a browser and navigating to a specific URL. That URL is parameterized. The second step is to find the map of ATMs near me. The third step is to get directions to the closest ATM to the east of my current location. And the fourth step is to go to the device home. All right, so the same test is being run on two different platforms. First one being an Apple iPad Pro. So that's obviously iOS. The one on the right is a Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus, which is obviously the Android operation system. It's also being run against two different websites. The left one being Chase, and the one on the right is Bank of America. So the first step is to go to the URL, which is already completed. The second step is to find the map of ATMs near me. So what's cool here is they have an AI assistant view, which is what you would use when you're creating your test. This is also where you would view all the decisions that are being made by the agentic AI as it tries to accomplish the objective you wrote. So on the left-hand side for Chase, there was a link on the main page and it had to scroll through to find the map of ATMs near me. So you can now see it achieve that goal. On the right-hand side, there wasn't a link to find an ATM near me or an ATM map. Also on the main page, it had to scroll through. It's now dealing with an actual pop-up. So the pop-up for location services so you can see results for ATMs near me. Now on the left-hand side, on the Chase site, we've gone to the map and now it's going to get directions to the closest ATM to the east of my current location. So it's gonna look at the map, find the location that's closest to the east, and you can see that it's done that. It's also gonna bring up the details about it. Now on the right-hand side, you can see that it's gotten to the map as well. And now it's going to start doing the steps of getting directions to the nearest ATM. On the left-hand side, you can see the way the business process works in the application is that it actually does the punch out to your GPS tool of your choice when you say get directions. So there was a notification message that happened. The Agentic AI handled that notification message and punched out to Google Maps define the directions to the location. On the right-hand side, you can see that it actually found ATMs to the east, but the one they actually found was out of service. So, understanding your objective, the AI was smart enough to make the assumption that you want an ATM in service. So it looked for a different one, which was also out of service and then looked for the next closest one, but there were no more to the direction east. So it went southeast to find that. Now, this also has to get directions, does a punch out to Google Maps as well. And as you can see, it found those directions. And now on the left-hand side, you can see that it's just going to go to the device home. And it also goes to the device home on the right-hand side as well.
This is showing you the power of running the same test, running against multiple applications, or it could be just multiple builds of an application or on different form factors. Pretty cool, right? So here's the difference. The entire test took just five minutes to create. It also worked across two completely different companies' user flows. If the app shipped in multiple languages, it would run in those too. And the kicker, no scripts, no frameworks, no maintenance headaches. So instead of spending your time fighting brittle scripts, why not let AI handle the heavy lifting? So why not give a tool like Perfecto AI a try for yourself? I think it really shows what's possible when testing keeps up with the real world. Dynamic, it's adaptive, and it's fast. Make sure to check it out for yourself using that special link down below. And as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.